Hi there, booktube! Now I'm starting my third vlog, vlog, vlog in a row for the owls. I just came back from skipping, so I'm a little bit out of breath still. And it was rainy yesterday. Today it was rainy in the morning and it will be in the afternoon, but I caught that precious moment when it stopped. I skipped and now I'm back inside. But as you may see, there is still a bit of light and I hope that it will last for a little bit more. And uh, this is officially the moment of the readathon when I finished all of the books that I wanted to read. Yay! <laughs> Which is kind of unbelievable because I wasn't expecting it, but then um, the lockdown arrived and so I was kind of forced to stay at home and I was forced to read. Then I thought that it would be a piece of cake and I will read everything like in one or two weeks, but it didn't happen because, again, the lockdown. And so my mind was a bit of a monkey mind, so I started to do a bunch of things without ending none of those. So it was a bit of a struggle, but now I finally finished those books. And now I have a bunch of other things that I want to read. I'm currently listening to The Loneliest Girl in the Universe on audiobook. And I'm just like one hour into it, but it seems very fascinating and I for sure will go on with it. And I believe that I will finish it before the end of the month. Then I started uh, The Enchanted April, that I really wanted to read, as you may know, and it was actually in my spring TBR, so that's perfect. But it's in an ebook format, and I really feel the crave for. Oh, sorry, my phone. And I really feel right now the crave for a physical book, because actually everything kind of that I read for the owls was like in an ebook format, and I really want something physical to just grab in my hands. And so probably I will go with Miss Comparsi di Cardi Luna, the second one in... Um, oh my god, the Passe Miro La Passe Miroir... Um, um, oh my god, how it is called in English? Le Fiance de l'Hiver... Everything is in French right now! Oh my god! Well, you will see the book when I will pick it up. It has like a very recognizable cover. And so yeah! These are my plans. I will. I, I started already the Enchanted April. I'm like 10 pages into it, but it's a little bit difficult to go through it just because it's not difficult, like, it's not written in a difficult way, absolutely, but my mind wants something easier, so probably I will give a chance to the audiobook first and to the book that I will read, start reading physically in Italian, because that's easier. Italian, of course, is easier. And uh, so it will be just... it will set the flow and the rhythm for everything else. And I will go on with that one. So these are the reading plans. Now, as you may see from... you don't see it, you kind of see it. Well, my room is a mess right now, just don't look at it. But I have here the mat, so I will do some exercises and then a shower. I have still a bit of things to do for work and a bit of knitting here because I'm far behind. Again, monkey mind, I started. I was so going so so well and then I stopped, so need to fix that one. And what else, what else, what else? This is it <laughs> for the moment that the most exciting thing that I have here. Actually, no, I ordered um, an outfit for a future uh, roleplay live game that we'll be having. It is supposed to take place like in... oh my god, it was at the beginning of June, but I don't think that it will happen at the beginning of June actually, but I still started to search for like for proper outfits because I will need something Indian, typically Indian, and unfortunately exactly when I decided to buy something all of the Indian shops locked down, so I started searching something in the UK and finally I found something thrift and used secondhand, so it's perfect with my kind of desire and uh, current like uh, behavior, so I'm really trying to be more ethical and to buy less and less and only to thrift clothes and um, yeah, basically, practically, practically <laughs> uh, clothes. So. In that case, I was fortunate enough to find something thrift that was perfect. I bought it, then the seller contacted me to tell me that so sorry, but 
I was wrong and that item is already sold, so I was desperate. But she found something kind of similar that costs less. So now I'm trying to conclude the purchase and we will see when it will arrive. It will be arriving from Bulgaria, I believe, so it's a little bit less um, difficult for them to ship because for India it's very, very difficult currently. And so when it will arrive, I will share it with you because I never wore... Oh, my camera. I never wore any Indian outfit. Uh, so it will be a first. <laughs> it's not a sari because saris are very complicated to, like, not complicated, but kind of time consuming to wear. You have to follow this process and it's very fascinating and it's very, very beautiful at the end. But I won't have many t much time like to change myself and when we will be playing, we will be sharing one bathroom for five people so I cannot take like one hour to dress up and I have to have something like easier to, to wear and to throw on myself. So that's the perfect solution and it's very very cheap and it's second hand so <clears throat> perfect. My voice, wear, wear it. And this is it for now. I will for sure like update you a little bit later in the afternoon because now it's like kind of 4 p.m. Maybe around 6, 7 I will be able to update you with something new about my reading experience. Till then! And it's the next day, so today is Wednesday and again I'm on the... Focus on me, not on my back! <laughs> That's strange. Strange. Um, I'm again... Uh, down here on the floor because I'm going to do a bit of exercises. Today I already skipped a little bit before lunch and actually something that I've noticed and I'm so glad about it is that now when I skip 200 times it's not that difficult for me so maybe in the future I will be able to push like maybe at the beginning of the next week to push it to 250 we will see, we will try. Yeah, I'm looking at myself and what I see is a funny fact that my face decided to have suddenly pimples and they are like forming this constellation of Orion pretty much because I have two here, one here. <laughs> Why? Well, anyhow. Uh, so my plan is now to do a little bit of exercise uh, and after I will feel for you something unusual I will make a try on kind of thrift haul because I received my last box uh, from the thrift shop when I usually buy new things and by last I mean not only the last one that arrived but also the last one for quite a bit of time because now I have more than enough clothes even because if we need to really consider the situation now I have clothes that I cannot even wear outside because when I'm at home I don't want to wear like fancy pretty dresses or stuff like that I just want comfy clothes and right now even a little bit warm because even if it's sunny it's so cold for whatever reason if you're in the sun it's hot but if you're in the shadow so inside it's cold so yeah this is the weather right now so I will <laughs> like try a try on haul kind of thingy and we'll see how it goes. As far as reading is concerned, I've not progressed that very much in nothing since yesterday, but I started today the second book in La Passe Miroir uh, series, the one by Christelle Debo, and I still cannot recollect how it's called in English. The, uh, the Winter Promise? No, it's not Winter Promise. Well, you see the cover, you can get what I'm talking about. It's the second one and it's a chunker and fun fact, it's the first time that I pick a book, a big book like since, I don't know, like probably the last time was like two months ago because I've read a bunch of things as ebooks and as audiobook, so this is very new and uh, all things considered, now my arm hurts. That's how fabulous I am apparently right now. I'm not used in keeping physical books in my hands anymore, so it was so so heavy. <laughs> it's stupid, but yeah, I'm sharing just whatever happens in during these emotional days <laughs> full of life. Um, 
Oh yeah, but one other thing actually happened and I wanted to share it with you because finally I started like kind of trying to make the point of this readathon and just keep track of everything that I read and see if some of the things that I read outside of my TBR ends up like useful for other exams and fortunately yes, but then I read better my career so I wanted to apply as a minister worker and <laughs> apparently for the exact division that I'm interested in to the exact department there was a small, small thingy called like muggle stuff, muggle history, muggle whatever things dealing with muggles and I almost missed it so I read all of those things and now I still miss one exam actually so now I have to read a contemporary and I don't have any contemporaries that I want to read immediately right now here so maybe I will go with one of, the, of those that I have like under letter A among my ebooks and my audiobooks so I was thinking probably I may give a try like Kikarella can be something considered as a contemporary romance way thingy. I hope that it's not too heavy, not too long, so <laughs> that will be probably my idea of how to repair to a mess that you made because you weren't like careful enough when you were writing down your exams. So I almost failed, almost, but I still have eight days, seven days. <laughs> To listen to that book so I will do my best <laughs> and uh, this told I will get to exercising and I will see you later and here I am to film this kind of haul of thrift shop shops uh, thrift clothes that I just got today uh, don't mind it's a sport bra one of those with which you can actually go out and jog so it's not perfect for trying out outfits but i just finished my exercises so here i am and i'm wearing my like pants for exercises so but i got this short it's a little bit sheer but just the tiniest bit and i got this one actually because i already own one very similar but it was it's not red it's actually brown in the places where it's red but it's a very similar pattern and I like it because it has here strings so it's perfect and very flattering when you're wearing it with you may actually tie it down more or less it's flattering when you're wearing it with pants you can put it more up you can put it more down whatever you want this is just a four ribbon so you can leave it like that or put it all in place then this part you may put it down or put it up whatever you want to and the sleeves again have ribbons so here i left it unlaced and this one is actually laced and you may decide kind of how up or how down you want your sleeve okay this is the next one which is kind of more difficult to understand because it's black on black pants and the lighting isn't perfect but this is actually something that I bought to wear in the office because it is just perfect to wear in summer with a pair of jeans or just pants or even a skirt. It's kind of breathable. I enjoy the fact that it's not very low here. Sometimes the cut here in summer clothes are too low so that at the end you can see the bra and I don't like it. And here it's just... this is the gap. So again, it doesn't show anything, it's very flowy and it's a little bit shorter in the front, so that's length, and it's a little bit longer in the back, it's a thing that I enjoy. And I can totally see myself wearing something like that in summer, so that the air can actually pass through, and it's still perfect to be wear in whatever occasion, to be wear, to be worn, yeah, English. And this is a white one, it's a little bit different as you may see, so first of all it's a little bit more see-through, so the black bra of course isn't ideal for this one, but and it's a little bit more low cut here, but still you cannot see the bra, so that's still fine. And this is a little bit more low, but again you cannot see the beginning of the bra or anything. 
and it has this cute color you can close it or you can open it which i appreciate because in summer that color will actually be a little bit of a bother so you may open it and it's just straight and plain and this one is a little bit large because i believe that i bought an l except instead of an m but you cannot actually choose the size being a thrift shop it is what it is so sometimes i prefer buying like larger clothes mainly for summer because it's more comfortable let's face it and so just like that simple to wear with a different bra of course and with a skirt or with pants i believe that it works really really well and you can wear it even in the office and this absolutely doesn't scream summer as a matter of fact i bought it for autumn or even maybe winter and you cannot actually see okay so it's dark kind of dark brown dark green then brown and white stripes and it has long sleeves when I bought it, I wasn't sure actually, because I thought that maybe it will be just that kind of rough material, but it's very, very soft, so I enjoy it. It goes down up till here, my sexy socks. <laughs> it has an amazing feature, pockets. I love dresses with pockets. Why all the dresses, like, why don't they have pockets? Because they're like lifesavers, actually and this one is large for me so it's definitely a larger like measure than i am but it has this velvety ribbon that i will probably just exchange for a belt and if you leave it loose it goes like that so on days when you don't want to be oh, i'm so bad at filming it when you don't want to be like forced to wear something tight you may actually wear it like that loose as it is just to share with you i changed the way the ribbon goes so i tried with something like with the ribbon in the back and it's much much better of course i have like kind of large hips and uh, the pockets are not very flattering but this way i can actually even see myself wearing it at my job place because i work in an office so why not Okay, this is the next dress and uh, mm, this is not for me. I don't like it very much, it's not very flattering and again I have quite large hips so I don't like when things like stuck here and uh, it goes like you can actually close it with a belt but it doesn't change much and even if I try and put it here in the back it's okay from the front, but then you see all of this like kind of <laughs> wrinkles. So nope, this one is not for me. It's nice quality, it's beautiful, but it's not for me. So this one is one that I will actually send back. And here we are with a very funny dress. It's girly and frilly and you can actually like, it has this colored circles. So we have blue, light blue and uh, yellowish greenish it's crossed here on the front and it covers pretty much everything it has an empire cut so just under your breast and it goes down it's like a little bit this is my knee so it goes like that <laughs> so it's not very short it's very springy and uh, funny and i love it with the right pair of shoes it's just perfect it's so i don't know it makes me feel like happy and like a little child for whatever reason i'm a little bit probably i'm a little bit too high for this dress but who cares i like it it has a nice line and it makes me happy and moreover it has like the oh i don't remember how it's called in english but the underneath fabric so this way it's not see-through so you can wear it without anything underneath too and i really really enjoy it i hope to wear it soon <laughs> and next is again a dress this one is perfect for summer it's sleeveless again a perfect cut here so i appreciate but this one will require a bit of work from my part because here as you may see you may see my sport bra so that's not okay. 
I need it to be a little bit more modest to like like that at least to be more wearable in the office and wherever I go I'm not very comfortable in showing that much of my cleavage around <laughs> and it falls down nicely it has a lot of different colors and patterns so you can pretty much wear it with everything it comes with this belt but to be honest even without it I probably prefer it without it so maybe I will remove this because it works fine and actually this one is very mobile here so it goes down it goes up it never stays on the on the exact cut so maybe I'll, I won't use it but I like it it's not very flashy and again perfect for the office once I will fix this part and this is the last thing that I bought again a dress perfect for summer it has the perfect cut so this is where it ends pretty much these are the sleeves and it goes down 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 like that it's actually pink and reddish flowers all over and in the back oh in the back it has this belt that you can actually uh, tie down so that it's a little bit more fit on the waist and i enjoy it the only thing is that it has this kind of like silhouette so that you need to be really really flat which i'm not i have a bit of tummy and who cares it's like that and uh, i'm human and i love sweets so you can't have everything in your life so i like it i enjoy it it's a little bit funny if you eat too much probably so that it will look like <laughs> you're pregnant but otherwise I like it, I enjoy it, and I will keep it for sure. So, at the end of the day, I have... This is the pile of tags that I took off. I have this pile of clothes that I will keep, and just one dress that will go away. It's a pretty good kind of compromise right now, and I'm very satisfied. I, I'm very satisfied with these purchases. It's the last one that I make in a while, so... I'm very, very glad about it. And now I can actually get to reading because I've not done any reading yet. So I really need to. And here we go. This session of reading may actually start. So here I have the book. I just wanted to share with you if you never watched inside. This one is a book that I borrowed from my friend before quarantine. And uh, I just read the premise, but look at this like family tree kind of clan tree in this case and then we have this beautiful map it's just amazing and here we have a beautiful homemade pie with ananas pineapple on the top and from the teacup that you saw me in the unboxing of a rebel box i have my black tea manga and peach and a bit of celtic music here and so i am actually ready here is my bookmark i'm actually ready to start and read at least a couple of chapters and then i will search for the proper audiobook in order to actually pass my last exam that i'm due for the 30th of may this is how cold I feel right now, so I put on even my hoodie because, yeah, too cold. My, <laughs> like, my hands and my fingers are freezing, so, and I don't want to actually turn on the heater, like the general heat system of the house, because it's absurd. It's April, why, why should I do it? Sorry for the noise of my phone that keeps, like, bleeping at the all the wrong moments but I have to to keep like the sound turned on in case of someone from work writing or like calling so that's an inconvenience but here I am with an update I'm like currently at page 58 of the book and I have to tell you that I absolutely forgot how easy it was to read this book it's written with a very big font and it's very easy to read. The language that it uses is kind of middle gradish, even if the themes are more like probably young adult because we're speaking about an engagement and 
there are a bunch of sexual references in it so it's a bit strange but it's really written in a very easy way to read moreover it's in italian and it was a while since i read something in italian the last time and uh, one um, absolutely positive thing about this book that I have to tell you is that it's the second in a series of four books and uh, I find it really I found it really easy to get back to the story. I'm 58 pages into it and I already kind of starting to remember all of the most important parts from the last book. It's like it goes kind of seamlessly and the last one I read it more than a year ago so it's a plus when you read the second book and it starts in such an easy way that you kind of feel it seamless from the first one I think that it's perfect so I will for sure go on with this one but now my plan is actually to knit a little bit so I have that and I will go on listening to The Loneliest Girl in the Universe I wanted to start Geekerella just to <laughs> get my hands on starting to finish that assignment for my exam for muggle history, muggle whatever but at the end of the day I really don't want to right now I don't feel like listening to a contemporary I'm into the loneliest girl in the universe right now so I really want to see how that story goes so I will give it a chance and when I will finish it then I will see if I will still have a bit of time to get to Gigarella properly. So, eight days to go and two books to read at this point or to listen to. Let's see if I will manage it. Today is Thursday, the 23rd of April, day I don't know of quarantine and self-confinement, but here I am with my reading updates and for once I actually have some reading updates. So today was a little bit of a strange day, I slept a little bit more, I woke up a little bit later and uh, I skipped I've not exercised, actually, not yet, but I was so happy that when I weighted myself, I actually lost a bit of weight, which is a goal of mine, just a little bit to be healthy, because I gained so much weight, which wasn't mine in the last months, just because of actually stress for work and stuff like that. So now I'm trying to get more fit and more healthy. So I'm so glad for that. <laughs> and after that, I started to do a bunch of things here at home, like clean, washing the dishes and stuff like that. And while doing so, I was listening to an audiobook. I continued listening to The Loneliest Girl in the Universe, which I started yesterday not started but seriously started to listen to more than an hour and I listened to three hours I believe something like that and now I, today I had to listen to the other three hours and I was breathless this book is so so good as an audiobook I believe that it works perfectly because it's a thriller but it's set in space and it plays games with the brain of the main protagonist so it's very well i don't think that i would suggest it as a book to re be read right now exactly because as the title says to you the loneliest girl in the universe it's about a girl who is lonely and confined in a spaceship in the space so being we us like confined right now i don't think that it's a great idea to read something like that if you're not in your best like mental space so just decide for yourself but when everything will be over I definitely suggest that book it's amazing I enjoyed it I'm not a huge thriller reader so I don't know if it has a bunch of throws or stuff like that but alone on a spaceship I, will, I don't think that it's exactly a trope that you can see that often out there and so it was an amazing experience. I was just, I woke up with the idea of listening to this book. I was on the edge of my seat till 
the last probably 20 minutes of the audiobook when the climax ended and we had the last part so those last 20 minutes were just meh but still the book overall is amazing and I rated it 5 stars even if I usually rate 5 stars things that I imagine myself rereading in the future and this one is something that I won't reread just because it's a thriller and now I know how it ends but still it deserves it it's written in a very um, just in a very I, I don't know how to describe it simple but like involving way you really feel involved in the story and it greatly describes the anxiety of the protagonist and all of her feelings and how her mind works and is wired so it's it's interesting and i enjoyed it and now i'm reading to uh, the this book i'm at page 60 something 65 so my goal for this evening is actually to reach page 100 or to be exact 107 because that's where the chapter ends i hate finishing before the chapter ends yes i'm one of those people out there so yeah that and i will probably if i will manage i will start listening to geekarella i'm not exactly in the mood but I have to. <laughs> so I believe that that one is better than others. It seems like an easy thing to listen to. So I will give it a chance and I will see you tomorrow. This goodness that you see, <laughs> like the pizzas and stuff like that, it's actually something that my boyfriend's mom does at home. So it's homemade, this one is actually warm, so I will wake him up and we will eat because it's Saturday and it's 12.30 right now. So lunch time and today is Tuesday the 28th, I believe. I'm on the outside and it's actually a little bit too bright for me even if it's not sunny it's kind of covered and cloudy but this kind of light just destroys my eyes for whatever reason having like light eyes is sometimes a problem actually I just wanted to give you an update because I wasn't that present in the last days but in these days I actually finished listening to The Loneliest Girl in the Universe as an audiobook I discovered that I had to go for one more channel challenge in Muggle, uh, Muggle Studies and so I had to read a contemporary book so I went with Geekarella and I finished that audiobook too it was so just fun and lovely and it's a well done retelling in my opinion um, just the way it's reimagined and how the author really conveyed the fact that some characters are kind of hateful but some are with a great morality and so it's just it was an interesting read I wasn't expecting to like it but I enjoyed it and then I am currently in the midst of the second one of Claire de Lune. I don't know how to show it to you right now. I'm just very uncomfortable in this position. But yeah, as you may see, I'm kind of not exactly halfway through, but I'm trying. <laughs> so I don't think that I will finish it before the end of May. And I am currently listening on my phone to The Enchanted April because I tried to read it, but for whatever reason, it was a very slow experience and I wasn't willing to pick it up. While, while listening to it, no problem at all. It's actually piqued my interest and I really want to go on with the story. So maybe before the 30, 31st of May, May, of April, we're in April, what I'm talking about. Uh, maybe before like the end of April, I will finish listening to the Enchanted April again 
the repetition and I for sure won't finish the physical book that I'm reading but I'm fine like that because I actually accomplished now it's sunny I actually accomplished to finish all of my challenges so I'm glad and I will probably like maybe tomorrow or the day after I will try and film the wrap-up for the owls because it was such a ride such a month and I believe that it's a great moment to conclude this vlog because I don't think that I will add much more content to it and thank you so much for sticking with me this vlogging experience is kind of new for me this one will be like my fourth vlog ever so it's a little bit messy it's a little bit like forever but I hope that you still enjoy it and I will see you very soon in my next video bye